Hello everybody! Welcome back to the Steven Suburban Homestead. Well, um, like I do most nights, I go in the fridge and want to see what is for dinner. And I had some store-bought cauliflower and some store-bought artichokes. Hi beautiful dream! Hey everybody! Thank you for joining. So I wanted to take you out to the garden uh, because I thought, hey I have some black-eyed peas. And what I've been doing with the black-eyed peas is um, letting them dry on the vine. So let me show you a couple different ways to eat black-eyed peas. And this can go for any kind of legume or legume, however you say it, in your garden. So come on over here. Here we have a black-eyed pea, which in Houston, Texas grows really, really well. And so they start to come out as a little black-eyed pea pod there. And then they get bigger and bigger. Can you see here? And um, if anybody would ask me a question, it'd be great. I never seem to, I just started periscoping and haven't been able to um, see any comments. So if you have one, go ahead and ask me anything uh, or let me know where you're from. Come and give me a shout out. Okay, so here is a black eyed pea pod that's turning yellow. And I was trying to let you see the texture of it. And then let's see if we can find one. This one's almost all the way, all the way dried out. So normally I pick them when they're like this. And what I do is they're almost dried out hard in there. And then I can just save them in a bag like you would buy dried beans in the store. But tonight we're having fresh black eyed peas. So I keep my handy dandy scissors in my outside storage. Do you see the little yellow mailbox over there? That's a, just a cute little sneak peek at how you can organize your garden and keep your tools from getting rusty. So I had already gotten them. Welcome everybody. Welcome. Um, gotten them out of here and then you just come over and it is super easy. You just clip. Boom. Done. And so we're having chicken for dinner and we're having fresh black eyed peas. Let me show you what it looks like on the inside. So you take the pea pod and it's a little difficult to do with one hand so just bear with me real quick. Look. It looks like a fresh black eyed pea, which I wonder if many of you have seen. It has green, that's not just the lighting, because the fresh ones are still good. And look, you can eat them. They're crunchy and good. So it looks like in this pot I have about 10 little peas. Man, they are good. They actually have the taste of like a fresh green bean. I'm wondering um, if I can even eat the pod when it's like this, except that on some of them, and let's just talk about gardening tips. Do you see some of the brown here? Um, I guess a perfect pod that has no brown on it, you could probably eat if you cooked long enough, but we're gonna go ahead and shell them. And um, so this is like a little bit of mold remnant, um, or if some ants gone on it, I seem to have had a little bit of an ant problem. And with the extreme heat in Houston, sometimes I get uh, what looked like brown aphids. So it doesn't hurt the pea pods inside in case you're thinking about growing some of these. Let me show you. I planted these at the end of May. Give you a perspective. So these are one foot high garden boxes. So you've got like four, almost four feet high of uh, the black eyed peas. And let's walk over to a different bed. I read that between the gardens we practice permaculture and we have chicken coop chicken run, excuse me, that goes over our gardens. But between our gardens, when we have like leftover things, like our cantaloupe is left over in here. It's already over here. See little cantaloupe? Welcome, welcome. That, what that does, it, since it's still there, I decided to go ahead and plant a few of these black eyed peas. I only planted these 30 days ago as ground cover, really, just to provide a little shade. I wasn't trying to get more black eyed peas. And do you see all the pretty flowers? And here's the tiny little peas after 30 days only. And here, this is a great shot to show you. These are brown aphids. And look, there's ants. I'm not really sure, because I'm not an expert. We're brand new homesteaders. I don't know why I have so many predator animals. And ant seems really weird to me. Um, and so I put diatomaceous earth on here. Uh, the ants the ants and the aphids are killed by that but you can also just smush them which is super gross I know I know it's super gross and I don't like doing it because it's just kind of wigging me out <laughs> but um it's an effective way to kill aphids because 
they are really hard to kill. They're a little soft body. The ants are easier. So anyway, that's what we're having for dinner tonight. Fresh black eyed peas. I'm going to steam, or excuse me, I'm going to like stew them. Look what's back there. Our chickens. Here, I'll just finish the video and come a little closer to the chickens before I say goodbye. Uh, <clears throat> I'm going to put the actual pea, not the whole bean pod, into just a little veggie broth or chicken broth. We use low sodium, just by the way, because we have someone in our family that has heart disease. And um, there's our sweet chickens that just started laying eggs three days ago. And uh, so tune in. I will name different ones what's for dinner just to show you that, you know, you can go out to the garden. Even if you only grow one thing, you can only do one thing. Like I only have green beans in my garden. I only have tomatoes. We can pick that out and make it a part of your meal. All right. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in. I'll figure out what's wrong with the comments later. Uh, thanks for your patience on Periscope. Bye. Joy here. I don't know what I look like, but I'll say goodbye. I'll risk it. Hi! Bye! <laughs>